Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and today we're doing a backup camera on this Mazda CX-7. We're going to show you how to install this backup camera to an aftermarket radio that's been previously installed. In this install, we're using this Pioneer AV8 1400NEX. If you want to know how to install step-by-step -step an aftermarket radio in this car, we'll have a link down in the description for your convenience. Now within this kit, generally speaking, these kits come with the camera itself, your video wire. Now this will carry the video signal from the camera itself to the radio. And finally, we have a power wire. Now this will actually power the camera. Now, if you're wondering how to actually wire this, I have a step-by-step -step video on the channel that's excellent in explaining really how to wire this properly. I'll also throw that link down in the description. It'll kind of gives you a 101 on backup camera wiring. Now, this wiring, the video wire, also comes with these leads that actually come off on both ends. What this lead is, basically, it just runs in parallel with the video wire, and you can use this as your trigger wire. So generally speaking on Pioneers, your trigger wire is going to be purple and white. Um, other brands, it may differ just slightly. This plugs into the, the brown RC on the back here. This is your reverse camera input. And then the other end will plug into the video output on the camera. Now again, this will plug into our radios purple white wire to trigger the, the radio to automatically cycle over when in reverse. And then the other end, we're going to tap into the power or the positive on the reverse light itself. It will trigger the radio to automatically cycle over to the camera. So let's go ahead and run this wire. Now to power our camera, we have this little harness here and we're going to run this to a switched power source, meaning the camera is on when the key is on all the time. So we're going to run this long power cable and our camera video wire from the front cavity area all the way to the back catch area. So let's go ahead and get started. Provo Beats Audio Installation Channel is sponsored by NVX and Sonic Electronics. Get 10% off all speakers, amplifiers, wiring kits, and more with coupon code PBAI at NVX. Also get 5% off all car audio components at Sonic Electronics with coupon code PROVOBEAST ahead and pulled the radio out as we showed you before. Uh, with that radio out we ran our video camera wire and our positive and negative for the, the actual camera itself. Now we just fish those down up underneath here and we're going to run them from the kind of the pedal area all the way across to the kick panel and from the kick panel area which you can see as they come out here we're going to run these along the kick panel all the way to the hatch. Now we also connected our trigger wire the purple white wire to the radio to this little guy here and then the other end will plug into the positive wire on our reverse light okay so we ran the wires down up underneath now fortunately if you get your hands just up underneath the little pocket you can pop that down up underneath when you're done you just pop that right up um, we just tucked it back behind here you can pull this back to give you access here's the the cables here we ran this along now this just pops on off just with clips here Kind of just get both sides and give it a little tug. When you're done here, this actually will just pop right back on. Just like so. And it keeps the factory look. We ran all the wire down, tucked it up underneath the B-pillar here. Back behind the B-pillar, kept running it along. Have it tucked here. Up underneath, we just pulled the seat up just a hair and we fished it up underneath here. That's where it came out under the seat as we fished it through. We pulled this back out. We pulled the side out too as well to give us just enough space so we can run these wires nice and clean. I'm going to try to run them up underneath this panel here so they're just not laying up underneath. What we're going to do is come up here. We've already started pulling the weather stripping back. We're going to run all the way up to this grommet here. As we get this pulled apart, we're going to have to run that cable up and through this grommet area. Once it's through this area, we'll take the back panel off the hatch area so we can run the wire along the factory loom. All right, so we went ahead and ran that wiring. Again, we just pulled this back, tucked in the wiring here. We have our video cable wire and our power ground for our camera. We pop this out just using a panel tool and we're gonna run our wiring through this rubber grommet to the other side. This is probably the hardest part of the install. We'll show you what we're gonna do. And then once we're through there, we just pop this top panel off so we can run 
our wiring along the factory loom here. Now for the reverse trigger wire, if you pop this back panel off, um, the bottom plug here, unplug that. This is your reversed light uh, harness. We just soldered into the green one here because the green is your positive, the black's the negative. And we just had this extra green wire laying around and we're gonna connect that into, remember this trigger wire here. This is gonna trigger the, the, the screen up front to go into reverse um, when the car is in reverse. Once this light turns off, this cord is no longer hot and our screen up front will automatically switch back over to the source. So we're gonna connect those two together. Again, also run that up in here so you don't see any of the wiring. Um, but at this time, let's go ahead and work on getting our wiring through the rubber grommet. Okay, what we've done here is I got our RCA, I got a zip tie and I taped them together and I put a little you know, soap and water here, like it's slippery. Basically, you'll just put one end through so the zip tie starts coming out the other end and grab some pliers. And make, once this is all lubed up, you can actually pull the pliers and pull it through and you can work it through the grommet, which we did here. And there we go, we're out through the other side. So that's the easiest trick that I've discovered that works for pulling water, wires through a rubber grommet. Our RCA for a video wire is a little short. Um, and so what we've done is we picked up a little coupler. This is a female to female coupler. You can get a big bag of these on Amazon for just a few bucks. But essentially here, I had this extra red RCA lying around. Um, this one's about six feet, gives me six more feet. So we're gonna connect those together and I'm gonna run our power wire and our new RCA along this loom all the way up. All right, so we connected that extra spare wire that goes down to the positive on the back of light. We soldered it into that red wire that leads off the RCA, and so we're just gonna tuck that in. We ran our wiring up through here, all the way up here. And then what we did for access, this is just a little plate. We, you can actually drill right through that. And it comes out right up underneath this panel. The way to get this panel off is just, there's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts and that comes on off, which allows you to take the emblem off. Once the emblem's off, you can run that wire through and we got our camera all mounted. So at this point, we're gonna reassemble everything. We got our video connected, our power connected. We tested everything and it works great. Let's go ahead and put the panels back on and do a final test. All right, so we went ahead and reassembled everything. It's all back on here. Got our license plate all bolted up. Good to go, let's do a final test. Okay, all good to go. We got the radio all back in, everything reinstalled. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. There we are, perfect. Put it back out of reverse. Great, and it works awesome. And nice thing is too, the way that we wired it, because we ran uh, switch power and ground to the camera itself, we could force switch over to, to to see what's behind us when not in reverse, just in case. Um, like I said, any questions, post a comment below. Be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video.